Here, I have my own customs. <laughs> uh, that's good. All right, we're back. Uh, back to it, Bo. Take it uh, from where we left off. All right, and as the countdown begins, the mind master bends to Burrell and he says, Good luck in the competition. I will subjugate you. And then fight begins. And as the word fight begins, a big flash spreads out from the two marionettes. And Pharrell, you are momentarily dazed at the sight of this flash. The Mind Master does a quick punch and you're unable to do anything. But as the quick punch, before it gets out, you hear... I'm going to do a quick punch. From some mysterious place in your mind, you hear this. Uh, he does a quick punch on you, uh, and you are can't retaliate. He rolls and hits. You take five stagger and one point of damage, and you hear him go, ha-ha! But there's these weird tracers and echoes of things as you look around and you feel disoriented. But then you hear instinctively in your mind, now, a quick kick will disable him. Pick your move. I will do a quick punch, which is faster than the quick kick. All right. Make your roll. Remember to add your dex modifier plus your proficiency as you're now skilled in them fighting. 18. All right, you connect, doing uh, five stagger, two damage to him. And he goes, what? And then you hear a voice in your mind go, I will do a dazing blow then. Pick your move. I will do my jump heavy kick, of which I am known for. All right, jump heavy kick is a speed, uh, minus one speed. So that means it's going to be a one, but you'll do plus one damage if you hit. The speed of the dazing blow and the jump heavy kick are the same. So let's both roll. Eight. Okay, you miss and the dazing blow connects. You take 20 stagger. All right, and zero hit points, but you're now dazed. And you hear a voice in your get in your mind again going, Good. Now I can tag him with a sticky plosive. And he does a sticky plosive move. Uh, but it misses as he tries to connect. Whew, it, he misses even though you're dazed. And he goes, What? <laughs> and your, your daze clears. And it is now um, up to us to make moves. But again, instinctively, you feel that he's going for a heavy punch. All right, I will do the, the heavy punch. I will do the quick kick. Quick kick. All right, so then you go first. 11. It's a hit. Uh, so, sorry, you already did the roll. Sorry, it's a hit. Okay, uh, heavy punch is... Sorry, did you say quick kick or heavy punch? Quick kick. You? So I would be yeah, two damage. Than him. Yeah, two damage. So twenty-two, and that puts ten stagger on him. And because of Ruble's passive, he can deal damage back. Uh, he rolls a d6, and the result is lower than the damage. So you actually take one HP damage and two stagger, as a little explosive tumbles off Ruble's and, and sort of nabs you a little bit. All right, uh, back again, and you hear another voice going. This time I will get him. I will block his attack. All right. <laughs> I'll whisper under my breath, shut up. <laughs> and what? I will do a dazing blow. Okay, dazing blow. So, um, <clears throat> okay, so you roll your attack roll for that, please. 16. All right, 16. So it's a hit, but he's blocking, so all damage and status effects are negated except stagger. So he takes 20 stagger, putting him to 35. Um, but because he blocked, he gets to roll a rush. He rolls a 5, so he adds 5 to his next speed. 
Um, uh, yeah, it has to be higher than the when the it has to be higher than the attack speed. Okay, which it was. So he has five on his next move, and he says, "I've got rush. I'm going to go for a dazing blow again." So his dazing blow this time will have a speed of six in lieu of one. Gotcha. You can select your move. I will do a block. Okay, so he rolls his attack roll on you. All right, it is a hit. Um, however, you blocked, so none of the negative effects happen, but you do take 20 stagger, putting you at 47 stagger. And you hear frustrate. You sort of hear this feeling of frustration all in your, like, ooh. Something is not right. I will do a quick punch. Quick punch. Okay, I'll do a jump heavy kick. Okay, so we go uh, jump heavy kick is going to be a speed of one. So his goes first. And he misses. So you get to do your jump heavy kick. Twelve. All right, that is a hit. Uh, jump heavy kick is going to be five damage, bringing him to seventeen, and ten stagger, putting him at forty-five. And he he goes, what? And then you hear the voice in your head again, going, "This time I've got, this time I've got him. I will hit him with a, the same move, jump heavy kick." Oh, interesting. Uh... I will do... That's a combo. Okay. Oh, jump heavy kick. Okay, I will do a... Now, jump heavy punch would technically be faster. That's right. No, I'll, I'll do the same. I'll do a jump heavy kick. Okay, we both roll at the same time. Ten. All right. Uh, the same. You both hit each other. Uh, you both each take five damage, so that puts him at 12, and it puts you at 17. And you both take 10 stagger, so you're at 57, and he's at 55. And you both sort of, you're both your marionettes jump in the air and kick each other and then hit and then fall back to the ground, get up and dust one another off. And he goes, This time I will hit him with a smackaroo. <laughs> How intimidating. <laughs> I will do my patented. Oh wait, a smacker is a speed of one. Oh dear. And block all incoming damage and status except for the stagger. So I would. So a block on a big smackeru would give me ten stagger, but I wouldn't be subject to the chance of getting blown That's off right. the stage. That's correct. Cool. I'll do a block. All right, you do a block, and uh, so then he rolls for his big time smackaroo. He rolls a one. That has a rule associated with it. Um, okay, so he basically he dazes himself as he attempts to do the big time smackaroo. He becomes dazed, and you hear frustration in your mind as you hear, "What is this? This is unfair." No, you hear in your mind, uh, "You're up. He's dazed." All right, I'm going to do my oh, jump you, heavy you, you, Before you do that, you get to roll rush. Roll a d6. Okay. And if it's higher than the attack and then the speed, you get to three. add that to your speed. So you can add three to any, th any move you do as well. Cool. I would like to do my patented jump heavy kick. Okay. So instead of a speed of two, it has a speed of five, but minus one is four. Uh, roll your attack roll. Natural 20. Oh, oh that has an effect. Uh, 20, he'll immediately become dazed. Now, he'd become dazed anyways because you chain dazes. So you hit him a second time, chaining the daze, doing five damage to the Mind Master, putting him to seven HP and 65 stagger, and he's still dazed. And you hear in your mind, this is, this is unfair. How can this be? How? And there's just panic. And he begins mashing his buttons really hard, but it, it, this character's dazed. Can't do anything. It's your turn again. Jump heavy kick. Okay. Uh, perfect. So make your attack roll. 24. All right. And you hear a voice. Yes, a combo breaker. And he attempts to go for a combo breaker as you connect. Uh, where's this combo breaker? 
Sorry, I'm just making sure I got the rule right for this. It's combo breaker saving throw. Okay. Four. He does not combo breaker. And your heavy quick kick connects, doing five points of damage, taking him to two HP, and then putting him to 75 stagger. And you just hear rage in, in your mind now going, No, this cannot be! This is unfair! I will... He is cheating. I will complain that he is cheating. This cannot be. Everyone is watching. Make your move. Jump heavy kick. I will complain. <laughs> okay. All right. Make an attack roll. 19. All right. Time for a combo breaker score. Uh, yep. This time he combo breaks. And you hear, yes, yes. And you actually hear him say that as well. As he breaks your combo and can select any move. And he selects uh, a dazing blow. Now he has advantage on the crackback. So that's a three. And that's a four. Oh, man. His crackback does not succeed. And because, oh, he took dazing blow. So it's fine. He misses, but he's broken the combo. And he goes, now I will get him. And uh, you realize that he's about to select a quick punch. Quick punch. Okay, I will do a duck heavy kick. Okay, perfect. You duck and heavy kick, which means it dodges his quick punch. Uh, no attack roll. Completely misses. Make your move for the duck. Sorry, heavy kick. 17. It is a hit, and uh, it does five damage. Bring him to zero HP. Uh, rubles on the screen just goes... Ah! And explodes into a ball of fire and then Kung throws his fist into the sand big uh, um, shovels up a huge amount of sand and then walks through it like he's spraying himself with axe and then goes taste the grains of my lands and then the crowd just goes a boo boo and then through the chorus you hear the, the, the mind master he goes I cannot believe it how did you defeat me This is unacceptable. <laughs> and he looks at you in, in with anger and he gets up and he goes, he, he leans into you and he goes, you have made a great enemy today. Then hire better assassins. You have not heard the last of the mind master. Your I career, didn't think I would. Your career will be short. I will make sure of that. And then he walks off in a huff <laughs> as you're getting pelted again with tomatoes and celeries and, and cabbages. Boo! Boo! And then the escort sort of pokes his head up on the stage and he goes, um, Vorel, it's probably a good idea to come off the stage now. Uh, come, come, come. I'll head off stage. All right. Boo! Boo! And then the escort goes, Congratulations on your victory. Uh, please follow me. We'll make your way back to the, the, the area for, for competitors. Boo. You hear booing still echoing through the stage, and you hear the voice of the announcer saying, Oh, the savage has beaten the intellectual. There's nothing like the raw strength of a lizard from beyond the universe. And he just says a whole bunch of flavorful things about you, and you make your way back to the room. Uh, and there's now uh, less people in there than started. Uh, you see that the, the young man with the circle of, 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 of kids is all around at one table, and they're all kind of talking animatedly. And uh, who else uh, made it deeper into the competition? You see Arsenad sitting alone in his paladric armor, uh, just, again, drinking uh, mead and staring off into the distance all alone. Uh, Tubbs 9 k is, is sitting there as well, just drinking beer, just, like, relaxing against the wall and then of course you enter in and shortly after your teammates uh, from the mighty squirts walk in behind you from from their privileged seat in the box yes yes good job Burrow. good job you also bring food yes and squirts will start grabbing the trash food off Burrow and eating it <laughs> gross <laughs> whatever I bet his I bet his pus bubble what am I saying Is the uh, the lady still in here? Did she rejoin Kanja's group? 
Yeah, they're gone. They're no longer okay. there. Yeah. All right. They're no longer there. And finally, um, as you enter into the room, you see that that, that young man with the with the mirror shades pokes his head up from his crowd, huddled people. And he gets up, kind of makes his way over to you, and he kind of looks like left and right, looking all kind of like trying to look cool and tough. He walks his way up to you, and he goes, uh, "Hey, bro. Hey, you." Yes. So, uh, I saw your match versus the uh, Mind Master. It was a good match. Was it? He was not prepared for my jump heavy kick. And as he sort of shakes his head and shoulders a bit, his entourage get up and, and sort of join behind him. And then now there's a whole bunch of 20 something humanoid teenagers all around. And, he goes, I don't know, man. I was uh, I was talking about it here with my uh, with my teamies. Something kind of didn't look right about your match. Puts his head out. He's peacocking. It's because you wear eye blocks. You take those off. You see. He just ignores you and says, says to Varel, he says, I don't know, man. Like, um, I'm pretty much the best there ever was at M Sports fighting, you know, and I, I think I kind of know when something's up and when something isn't, and there's definitely something up with the way you played that match. That's because you're short. You grow, you be up too. I kind of think maybe, um, kind of think maybe, uh, you, uh, you might be cheating. Are you accusing me? Well, I read your I read your story here, man, in, in M Sports uh, in M Sports Weekly. You're uh, fresh off the portal, just some clueless uh, Burke that landed in Sigil. And the next day, you beat everyone. You go undefeated in your qualifiers, and 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 you know, hey, I guess lucky things happen. But then, you just happened to give you you, you owned the Mind Master, a consistent top eight finalist. Just I've never seen him lose so quick. And I don't know. I'm just saying. Your moves, they were kind of predictive, you know? Ah. Well, I think uh, I think if this competition is going to allow cheaters in the competition, I think I maybe I'm going to have to go say something to the M Sports uh, League Association and uh, put in a formal complaint, man, because I can't be a part of a competition where there's cheaters. Belfort. Wait, what? Did you say Malfoy? <laughs> he said Belfoy. And he motioned towards... Uh, oh. He motions towards one of the attendants that's on the side. It's a human-looking dude. Comes up and Belfoy goes, Yes, uh, is there something I can help you with, Kanja? Uh, your performance today was great. I enjoyed it. He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think there's something suspicious going on with this uh, competitor here. You know? I don't know if you saw the same match I did, but... I think he's kind of too good for a first timer. And and Dalfoy kind of looks and goes, um, uh, uh, "How? Would, uh, what are you saying?" And then Kanja looks around. He says, "What do you think I'm saying, eh?" And then one of his buddy goes, "He's saying he's a cheater, man. He cheated at the competition. You should test him." Yeah, yeah. I think you should test him. Test him. For Test them. <clears throat> Belfoy sort of clears his throat and goes, <clears throat> uh, Vorel, uh, you've been accused by the 10 time M Sports champion of potential cheating. How do you respond to these charges? These are best of one competitions. The only way I'm here is by winning undefeated. Is that right, Kanja? Yeah, man, but there's something off about the way that you're doing things. You're you're a little too good for a first timer. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I right. test him. Listen, if you don't test him, Belfoy, I think I'm gonna go to M Sports Weekly and tell them that uh, big time uh, Smackaroo is no longer a viable uh, M Sports option and have it removed from the circuit. Oh no 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 no. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, Squirts this... a little pee on his leg. <laughs> On whose leg? 
I'm just. <laughs> are you do Are you doing this as a stealth check or are you doing it blatant? No, blatantly. And are you wearing she pants? She can't bite him, but she can pee on him. So you're wearing pants, right? Yeah. Or no? No, no. You have, robe? Pretty... you have a robe. No. Okay. You have nothing on. Uh, basically, the weapons that are strapped on, but no clothing. Okay, so peeing is easy. It's just as easy as going up and peeing on his leg. Okay. All right. Um, you pee on his leg, and he goes, Whoa! Whoa, that's not allowed. Whoa! He's but I'm not leg. I had to go. I had that's to go. Do you test them? You test that? And then um, the, the, the man named Belfoy exits into the hallway very quickly and comes back with two efficient human-looking people, and he goes... Um, Pharrell, uh, we're going to need to test you. We, we test Conja too, yes, yes, we test everybody. Mm, persuasion roll, please, Squirts. <laughs> this music's Ooh, hilarious. It's an 18. <laughs> it's supposed to be fighting game music, but this one got <laughs> a little weird. So, yeah. so, uh... The one named Belfoy looks and he, and he says, um, I think that would be fair. Perhaps we should test everyone for performance enhancing modifications. Kanja, would you agree to submit? He goes, yeah, man, of course. I don't cheat. There's nothing wrong with me. I'll be the first to do it. But this one is cheating. As long as he has to be tested, then let's do this. Let's show me where I got to go. Um, okay, well, well, this way. Uh, you here, um, uh, um, uh, Jimmy? No, we pee in public. That Jimmy? way we know. It's it's their pee. That way we know. It's not proper. Uh, an efficient will observe the peeing uh, so that we can know, all right? No, so, we all observe. We uh, all efficient. Uh, Jimmy Jimmy comes forward. He's this human. He goes, uh, hey there. I'll, um, I'll, I'll watch you pee there, Varel. Come with me. He, he sort of shows a cup. He's like, here, take this. You'll have to pee into that. Uh, but we need to do it in a private place. Wonderful. Come come with me. And he, he walks out the archway and he peers in. He's like, come on. I follow. All right. So he makes his way to the latrine. And some of the other competitors come with. Yeah, uh, nothing's as well. following as well. Sure. Everyone's following him to the latrine. I know. And Ash, are you coming? You're the only one that doesn't I do will, stuff like Yeah, that. I'll come with him. Okay, um, so the whole procession makes the latrine. Kanja and his group are in the latrine too. Tubbs, 9K, and and um, uh, Arsenad also of uh, the Exiles also makes their way into the latrine. And um, Jimmy uh, is there, and he goes to a stall, this private area of the latrine. He says, uh, "Varel, come in here, and and we'll take your sample." All right. Very well. Though I can pee proudly in front of this man. It's unbecoming to pee in the middle of everyone, and there are young children here. They don't need to see your member. It, it's fine. All right, come in, come into the stall. And then he stands in the stall, and he put the. He, he's like one second, and he he reaches into his cloak, and then takes up this case, and he opens the case, and there's a pair of glasses in there, and he puts the glasses on, and closes the case, puts it back in his cloak, and then he looks down at your crotch. All right. All right, whenever you're ready, please uh, pee. Into the cup. Yes, and I need to see it. All right. I pee. All right, so you you have to take out your hemi penis, right? From I mean, I think I could just rock it, you know? Like, I don't think there's any extension for a lizard, but, you know, with d and these know. sort of things, we can find out. <laughs> I'm going by actual lizard physiology, which I think it's, like, curled up inside your flesh, and then you sort of fold it out. And then it's there because you walk around without any clothes on, right? So it's all yeah. Consumed. No, yeah, I got dino crotch. Remember, we established that lizards just lay there; they actually don't do any pumping or anything like that. <laughs> Jeez, they just kind of yeah. Lie there. Oh, yeah. You just you get your business done. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, he, he observes you peeing the whole time as you bring it out, and you fill the cup with you know yellow liquid, and he go he reaches his hand out to take it from you. Okay, and then 
he looks at you and he goes, <laughs> and then he takes it and he pours it out into the latrine. And he goes, it's me, Kidigree. It's me. And then he sort of, you see a winking eye from Jimmy and then his face changes just momentarily into a little bird eye and he goes, winks at you. And then he's like, don't worry, we'll get you out of this. And then he takes out, he unzips his own pants and you see sort of um, feathers. <laughs> and then he takes out his his member and it's like shaped like a corkscrew. And oh. and, it, and he puts it into the, to the cup and <laughs> he pees in it for you. He's like, you keep this trick secret. <laughs> <laughs> Go look up duck I'm penis on you... Google, by the way, listeners. Duck penis. I'm glad you were prepared with the shape of his penis, but not mine. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to give you creative freedom over your character. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell you what your member looks like. This is your character, not mine. So kind of you. Every DM should be so kind. Yeah. And he puts it back into his feathers and he goes, there, there we go. And then there's a cloaked man in the latrine. He goes, the testing will begin. Please bring your samples forward to the table. And then uh, Kid Agree, Jimmy, takes a little label and, and a little ink quill and he goes, writes your name on it, Varel. He goes, um, here is a Varel's uh, a urine sample. Concha puts his arms like crossed and he goes, yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see who's cheating here. Clearly, this lizard man's cheating. And the the cloaked man begins waving his hands like this, and all the all the uh, cups of pee begin to glow. They glow bright, bright yellow, except one cup glows red. Oh no! But it's not Conscious Cup, and it's not Pharrell's cup. It's Tubbs 9K's cup. And the, 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 the mage looks and stops and he says, there appears to be a problem with Tubby Flavorbeard's cup. <laughs> <laughs> and then the mage sniffs it. It would Aww. appear that he's taken cognitive enhancing substance of some kind. Probably Ubelex 4K. War! Um... No, I didn't. Uh, I'm sorry, Tubbs 9K, but I have to declare you a cheat and disqualified from this competition and future competitions in the M Sports League for a minimum of one year, subject to further testing for performance enhancing potions. And then the dwarf just lets out a big sigh and goes, It's right difficult for, for a ghost to compete with living beings. What do you expect me to do? And then he just suddenly walks out, or floats out, rather, because he's a ghost. Floats out of the latrine. Is it spectral Conch urine? It just looks like regular urine. You're not sure how. You don't know about ghost science when it comes to urine, but... Does Varel say this, or are you just asking for... No, I'm, just, I'm asking for me, so... Yeah. Maybe it was an aspect I hadn't considered in advance. <laughs> one, of those, one of those details that eluded my attention until you asked the question. Uh, but yes, whatever his pee is definitely a doping pee. Ectoplasm. Uh, well, um, the escort comes back in and he says, well, that appears to settle the issue of the performance enhancing potions. Tubby Flavor Beard is now disqualified. Uh, good news for you, Varel. He was your next competitor, and he's been disqualified. So you have made your way to the finals. Congratulations. Conja looks like that. This is bullshit. No, you bullshit. This is bullshit. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm going to see you, you in the finals. Like I'm going to see you in the finals, uh, Varel, and then you're going to know the true meaning of losing. Beginner's luck. That's all this is. I'll make you a salad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Because there's vegetables, it... Nash. There's vegetables yeah. out there. There's a, there's a threat. <laughs> I got it. He looks around. He says, I've, I'm the best at this. And you're going to feel the pain of losing to the best. And he walks out. And then all the entourage look at you. And they go, yeah. You suck. Cutting. They all kind of walk out. You babies. I, I kill babies. 
<laughs> <laughs> and then Scorch will stop and think about what she said. All right. So the entourage makes their way back out to the stage as the next round is set to begin. Our Sonata of the Exiles also makes his way there, and you guys are all alone in the room, and you just hear the cheering of the match above. Ah! Is there anything you'd like to do during this time when you're alone in the waiting area? Uh, does Kanja have food that he's left out? I mean, there's all kinds of drinks uh, on the table and food plates. They didn't clean up after themselves. And around the table, there's a mess of food on the floor, too. Oh, okay. Um, Squirts will take the food off of his plate and hide it in the room somewhere. Okay. And as, um, as you do this, uh, Jimmy walks back in. And he, he winks at Pharrell. Come over here. Kind of head nods like. All right. And I follow. All right. You're just in the corner of the room. He takes the corner. He says, you've done very well. Thank you. Congratulations on your victory so far. Only one more to go. And we can humiliate Kanja, yes? Yes, and then I get my friends. Yes. So to begin the humiliation, you must beat him for the first time ever in ten years in front of the crowd. But not only that. And he reaches into his pocket, and he takes out this little round disc that has a button in the middle. He says, push this button and throw it at his feet after you beat him, and his humiliation will be complete. I see. Yes. Should I stay? Um, afterwards, it's up to you what you want to do with it. Let me say we've used unorthodox means to win this competition. I don't recommend you stay on as a competitor in the future. Probably better just to, to leave as quickly as possible once the humiliation has taken place. I like this and, plan. And then... And then we will see about getting your friends back. Yes, we will. Yes, but the humiliation has to be good. It will be. I need to see the tears. I, I will make... The pain must be real. Sure. Right. But not physical pain. Don't assault him. No, I, yes, I gather. Emo emotional pain. Yes. Tears yes. from his face. Press the button. Yeah. And then he, he, sulk, he skulks out back into the hallway. All right. And then with that, uh, Kanja walks in with his crown and goes, yeah. And he point, points at you and he goes, you're next, buddy. We're and not he friends. He's high-fiving all of <laughs> He's high-fiving all of his friends. Like, we kicked that, that mournful little paladin's ass. Little loser. You know what I think? I think everyone who plays M Sports is a loser, except for me, because I beat them all. I don't even know why they try, man. They should just give me the money and give me the glory, and and just just take it. Get ready to lose, Varel. We'll see. All right. And with that, the crowd is is, is going wild. You can hear them up above. You hear burr, 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 from the from the shoutcaster. And um, one of the uh, attendants comes in and says, uh, the next match is ready to go. It is the final match, and it's Vorel versus Kanja. Competitors, please follow me. All right. All right. And Kanja comes out, and he's like, I'm going to be done real quick. And then you guys sort of walk side by side following, uh, following the attendant. The rest of you head back to your boxes to watch the match. It's sort of these raised... Um, platforms where you get in and then they raise up above so you're close but you're above the crowd as you watch from either side uh, as Kanja e e exits first onto the stage there's a loud Kanja 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 <laughs> yells and then Varel as you get on the crowd it goes silent for a moment and then there's a Child killer! Child killer! And then the vegetables start getting thrown at you again. <laughs> Child killer! 
All right, and uh, you both make your way onto the stage. Uh, the referee comes up, takes both of your hands, and lifts them both up, and then says, "All right, then you may take your places at the at the happy sticks." I take my place at the happy stick. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand finals of this year's big time Smackaroo M Sports competition. We have legendary competitor Kanja, who has never lost a single competition he's entered since the age of 18. He is the greatest competitor to ever do it. And we expect him to win again today and dominate over the child killing savage from a strange distant world. That's right, the savage Vorel. Boo! Boo! And the whole crowd just is going nuts booing you. The ref comes up and he goes, all right, I want a clean fight. Whenever you're ready, select your heroes. And roll your initiative roll, please. Kanja rolls a natural 20. 19. 19. All right, he locks in Bland. <sighs> Who are you playing? Kung. And he just looks at you and he goes, Who even plays Kung, man? Noobs. Yeah, that's right. You're the biggest noob of them all. The luckiest noob I've ever seen. I swear to God, you're cheating. But it doesn't matter. You can use all the cheats you want, man, because I'm going to beat you today. No problem. And then the, both competitors get on, uh, both the marionettes get up onto the stage. You see Bland. He kicks the air a couple of times, and he goes, By the will of tranquility, I will find my parents. And, uh, <laughs> and then Kung gets up onto the stage and says, Girder your scales, softling. And the countdown goes three, two, one. And then all of a sudden your vision, you're taken again in Dave's Varel and your vision begins. You see things in double and you see tracers and, 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 and your, your, your consciousness is just snapping. And then you hear a voice in your head going, man, I'm going to beat this noob. It's going to be easy. I could do this with my eyes closed sleeping. Quick punch. And the match begins and you know what he's going to do first. Oh, cool. I get to react to the first thing? Yep. You're used to the effects this time, so you are good to go. Awesome. I'm going to quick punch. I, I will... So I will also do a quick punch. Uh, here goes you the Two quick punches? Okay. All right. Natural 20 for me again. I got a one. Oh, damn. So same effect, basically. Uh, you become dazed. And he quick punches, although, but you don't get your quick punch because it doesn't hit. He quick punches you for one damage, 24, and you take five stagger, and you are now dazed. And he goes, oh, man, this is going to be so easy. I'm going to kill this guy. And he goes for a heavy kick, and it hits. You take an additional four damage, putting you to 20, and you take 10 stagger, putting you to 15, and you're still stunned. He takes another move, and he goes Do I get a forward. combo breaker? You'll get one on the next one, second okay. hit after two hits. Uh, he goes to swing at you with a heavy punch again. This time he misses, so your dazed is cleared, Whew. and you're back up, and he goes, oh, damn, Kanjo, what's wrong with you? Oh, shit. Duck kick. Duck quick kick. I will do a duck quick punch. Okay. So that means you're faster. Roll your attack roll. 21. All right, you hit him, dealing one damage. In five stagger. And he goes, Oh, damn, how did he know that? All right, jump, heavy kick. Jump, heavy kick. Uh, I will do a duck heavy kick. Duck heavy kick? Okay. Uh... I think we both miss each other. Yeah, we both swing. <laughs> he goes, Ugh. And then this time he says, All right, I know what I'm going to do. Lonesome kick. Lonesome kick. It's a kick that does devastating damage that can't be dodged. It has a speed of one. It'll do 10 damage and 15 stagger, but it has a speed of one. Oh, a speed of one. Okay, so it's really slow. All right, I'll do my uh, my jump heavy. Go oh, wait, that would put me on one. I will do my jump heavy punch. All right, jump heavy punch. Uh, make your attack roll. 15. Okay, you hit, doing 3 damage to Kanja. 
or it's plus one to damage, so it's four, right? Yeah. 20 damage. And he takes half stagger because he's bland, so 7.5. Okay, and you just hear, boo! Boo! And then lettuce and tomatoes get, are still getting flung at you uh, from the stage. All right, and then you hear, okay, this time I'll get him. We're going to block. I will do a dazing blow. Okay, roll a day, roll your attack. <laughs> 13. Okay, it's a hit. Uh, you do 10 stagger to him because he's blocking. Um, and then he gets to roll rush. So he'll add 5 to his speed next turn. He goes, how did he know that I was going to block and he did a dazing play? This, guy, this guy's a ch- cheating. This, this can't be. It can't be. Uh, quick punch. Give me a really quick punch. I will do a duck heavy kick. Duck heavy kick. All right, it goes to do his quick punch and it misses because you're ducking. Roll your heavy kick. Heavy kick. Oh, it misses uh, eight. 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 <laughs> okay, so it also misses. Woo, woo, woo. And he goes, All right, I'll know. It's time for a harmony strike. This will get him. This is why blind is good. <laughs> Speed two. Okay. Oh, I'll do a quick punch. Okay, roll your quick punch. Quick quick punch. Nine. Nine, all right, so you miss. He misses because you're ducking. Uh, Wait, did you duck? You say duck quick punch or just quick punch? I think it was just a quick punch. All right, so he gets the hit. He gets the crack back. All right, he hits. You are dazed. You take two damage. Uh, So that puts you to 18 HP and... Five and you are now dazed. And he goes, "Good, I've got him where I need him." Jump heavy kick. All right, and he hits, and uh, chaining again another blow, and you take um, five damage, putting you to thirteen, and ten stagger, putting you to thirty. All right, and then he goes, "All right," and to follow up the combo with a lonesome kick. All right, and he's going to hit with a lonesome kick, but you can combo breaker. Okay. How do I do that? Uh, roll a d20 saving throw. Has to be 10 or higher. Do I add my thing? And you add nothing. 15. All right. So you he goes for his heavy attack, lonesome kick. And you grab your character, your marionette, grabs his leg and can now do any move. I will do a heavy punch. All right. With advantage, roll, please. 11. All right, it's a hit. You do to Kanja. Uh, heavy punch, you said. Three damage. So we put him down to 17, and he takes five stagger, putting him to 22.5. Okay. Uh, then you're both on the clear, and he goes, all right, time for a dazing... No, 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 don't do that. Time for a da- No, dazing blow. Dazing blow. <laughs> Dazing blow speed one. I will. Wait. Oh, that's a standing attack. Cool. I will do a duck heavy kick. Duck heavy kick. All right. Go ahead. 18. All right. It's a hit. Oh, so heavy kicks. Sorry, you said heavy kick, right? 14 damage. Heavy kick, yes. Four damage. Puts him to 13 HP, and he takes five stagger for 27.5. All right, uh, and he's not able to use his move. Then he goes, all right, this time I'll get him. Jump, or sorry, duck, quick punch. Duck, quick punch. Duck, low attacks. Uh, hmm. Quick punch. So it's super fast, and I guess I can just jump it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a jump heavy kick. Uh, so you jump heavy kick, you both miss each other, and he goes, oh, damn it. He goes, I'm going to duck him quick punch again. I will do a... Face bite? Okay. <laughs> I don't have any stats on it. So he's he's ducking. Oh, the stats face bite. Uh, you heal yourself for HP damage inflicted, but it is a standing attack, and ducking will not allow it to connect. Okay, cool. So your best bets are either to block or jump, or just do the same move he does, basically. 
and he's doing the duck heavy kick. Yeah. I'll duck, do the same. duck quick punch. Duck, you can do the same? Duck quick. Yeah. He's doing a quick punch. Okay, so you guys both roll at the same time. Cool. 11. All right, you guys both hit. Uh, so you each do one point of damage to one another, putting you both at, you're both at 12. Uh, he is going to be at 30 stagger, and you're at 35 stagger. And he goes, oh, I've got to get this guy. Oh, he's such a cheater. Oh! And then he's like, load some kick. I will do a jump heavy kick. All right, then same speed, but you are jumping. But his uh, lonesome kick can't be dodged. It is a huge sweeping kick, so we both roll. Okay. Mine's a hit. Ten. All right, so we both hit. Uh, With your jump heavy kick, you do five damage to him, bringing him to seven HP, and five stagger, bringing him to 35. He connects to the lonesome kick, which does 10 damage, bringing you to 2 HP. And you now have um, 50 stagger. The 15 stagger. You're, he's like, I've got him now. I've got him now. Quick punch. I will do a jump heavy kick. Okay, jump heavy kick. So quick punch is going to go first. He misses. Jump heavy kick. 10. All right, you hit, jump heavy kick, uh, does three damage, bring him down to four. You have two, he has four, and five stagger, putting him at 40. And now you're both, there's a sort of pause there in the middle as you're both down to like your last HPs. And there's a standoff and there's, there's look at his eyes and you can hear his voice going, okay, this is it, I've got him, I've got him. You can do this, you can do this. And you hear in his mind, he goes, big time smackaroo. Is that a standing attack? It's a standing attack, yes. All right, I would like to do a duck heavy kick. All right, duck heavy kick is also of quicker speed. You duck down, you kick out. Duck heavy kick. 21. It is a hit. You do four points of damage, and um, his character, Bland, just goes, oh, 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 as he flies up into the air, and it goes, (laughs) Kung wins, and Kung kicks up the sand and walks through it, and he goes... Uh, dragon mother, sustain me! And then he flexes his lizard muscles, and Kanja immediately gets up, kicks the stand, and goes, what? 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 And you just hear, boop! Boop! This can't be! This can't be happening! This can't be happening! He's cheating! He's pointing, he's a cheater! He's cheating! He's cheating! I can't be beat! I can't be beaten. He's, he's pointing at you, and everyone's going boo. And the the, the amount of salad and, and and tomatoes and like even a bucket gets thrown onto stage. Things are just getting fired at you so much, it, including all over the marionette station, breaking it. There's a bit of a riot forming. Boo! Boo! You lost, Kanja. You have lost to a noob. My beginner's no. luck is too strong for you. No, this cannot be. This cannot. I cannot. I. I cannot be beat. You have done something, and I will figure out what you've done. I can't be beat. He's a cheater! He yells out to the crowd, and everyone's like, Boo! Boo! <laughs> I will now go write my book on how to play Kung, which you neglected in yours. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. And then I'll. I can't be beat. <laughs> and I'll. He's crying. Grab the button, press it, and slide it in front of him, and start walking off. All right, you press the button and slide it down. Make an acrobatics check to see how good your roll is here. Twelve. Okay. And as you, he's, you it slides. It sort of binks topples and it seems like the, the the button you press forms a light that's coming out of the button it's purple and it sort of goes blink 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 and it lands between his feet and shines up at him and you see him crying he's like, it can't be it can't be but then inside of Kanja it shows in his body and in his body you see these these floors and there are stairs and there are these little men and some of them are like walking on these treadmills and then there's like other other little men like at at 
you know, these like typewriters. And then one of them's in the brain. There's a couple of them in there walking in this sort of wheel, this hamster wheel. And they kind of look her around and, and the whole crowd just goes silent. And then one of the little, the, the men inside are like, you know, two inches tall. It's like, there's like a whole office building full of people inside of Kanja. And then one of them kind of looks out and then taps one of their little friends and they point out here and people inside start scrambling once they realize they've seen and then Kanja's body starts going like all oh, like and it's just like and it tries to walk off the stage as quickly as possible and all the men inside are like and then the crowd after some silence goes Bo, Kanja, bo, bo, and then immediately all the vegetables start getting flown after Kanja as he's been exposed as some kind of fraud being, and just he's getting rifled with with that, and all the little beings inside are trying to scramble, and Kanja's body's like <laughs> just walking off the stage, like ah, 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 ah. boo, and then the voice. Uh, comes up, uh, the shoutcaster comes up and goes, wow, that is an interesting development. Kanja exposed as a fraud. a Not a real being, but a team of being against M Sports rules. He's tricked us all. And it took the child-killing savage Varel to show us the error of our ways. We may not like Varel's ways, but Varel is a true champion today. And then you hear the crowd start going, Forel, 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 Forel. And Kanja's body's like, <laughs> like the being is crying and also just, eh, and as it makes its way up the stage, Forel. And then the ref comes up and raises your hand up and he takes a little, the microphone descends and he goes, Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you your new M Sports fighting champion, Forel Rasvim Chiodek. And the crowd uh, chants uh, for hours, and eventually a little halfling comes out with two large sacks of gold. You can barely hold them, and then he just lifts them up towards you. Here is your reward, Varel. Congratulations on your victory. I will take the sacks and elevate them into the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then another bunch of halflings come out with a trophy. It's this large sort of looking stand. It's got a picture of a marionette with Kung on it. It looks like it was just freshly pressed in honor of your main champion. And it says your name, uh, Sigil, East M Sports champion, a big time smackaroo, Varel Rasvid Keurig. And they come out with the cup. They're like, and then, and then someone comes forward, a little other little halfling. He's like, um, please raise the cup over your head so we can make a picture for M Sports Weekly. I will put the two bags of money in one hand and raise it above my head with the other yeah. hand. And little 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 eyeball beings come out with little wings and then they start painting on a little easel and they're like, okay, hold still, we're gonna get your image here for the magazine. And the crowd's just like, four out, four out, four out. And this goes on for the next 20 or so minutes as, as um, you know, the crowd uh, cheers and you, you sort of do all these uh, photo ops uh, for the the organization and then finally a gentleman you recognize from the qualifiers comes forward with a little notepad and he says <clears throat> hello i'm from m sports weekly here uh ted mundy um i'm <laughs> <laughs> ted, ted mundy <laughs> amazing uh I um I I'd like to to how does it feel to be the, finally a champion when no one would believe in you? You face so much adversity. What does it feel like to finally make it to the top of M Sports? Never have I seen such a crowd. Well, yes, there's usually quite a large crowd, but how do you feel? I feel radiant. And what would you like to say to all your detractors who didn't believe you could make it this far? I have killed no children. Well, I'm glad you bring that up. So did you want to clear the record on the child killing incident from this morning? He lived and he's stronger for it. So the killing never happened? Never happened. So but between why you would and me. So who set up this law? Oh, damn. Go ahead. Between you and me. If me having intimate relations with a kobold and killing a child would increase your press, you may go for it. I care not. When you say between you and me, does that mean you don't want me to write that down? If you write that down, then that would ruin the story we just told you. 
Right, so I'm not going to publish this thing you just said. If you believe it to be better. I see. We don't operate that way here at M Sports. We take the authenticity of the stories very seriously. I'd like to know, did you kill that child? And you said no. Excellent. Yes, the child has been returned to his father and is very proud of his upbringing. Okay. All right. Now, now that we got that all cleared up, that you're not a child murderer and that your manager is not a child murderer, what would you like to say to your detractors who didn't believe in you? The ones who weren't accusing me of child murdering. Anyone, any, all you had many detractors, so I've heard. Oh. The Mind Master in particular had very, in his exit interview, had some very nasty things to say about you. He said that you were a lucky dweeb. Did he now? Mm-hmm. And he said Even he's absolutely, he said he's sure you kill children. He may believe that. He is small and he has a right to be afraid. All right, that's a good response. Any other thing you'd like to say to your detractors? What do you think about Kanja being exposed as a fraud? All right. Even a Burke can defeat a cheater. Hmm. Quite, quite an event. I can't believe you finally took down Kanja and also showed us what a, a, a fake he was. He had a whole team of people operating. No wonder he was so good. Okay, with anything else you'd like to add to your interview? Um, will we see you in the next competition next weekend? I have much to do. To prepare for the competition next weekend? There's there's more. Yes, next weekend it's um, Mechan 6. People do this every weekend. Yes, not this is one of the most prestigious of it, but there are events every weekend. I will enjoy my winnings for a time and make my decision later. That's a good idea. This is your first time uh, competing, so it makes sense to go and, and go to a camp and, and get some training done and come back fully strong. It'll be interesting to see who the dominant champion is next weekend. That'll set up a real story for you versus some other champion. I like it. Right. I will now feast from my large cup and enjoy my winnings. Very good, thank you. Look forward to chatting with you again soon. I always believed in you, Varel. I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you leave to go down to the hall, and this time they've permitted in certain people into the hall, and there's a large celebration going on, including your your party members, nothing, and Nash, and, and, and Squirts, and Chunks. But uh, there's a large procession of people trying to get time to speak with you just like the day before all right i'll i'll wade through them as best i can mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as you go through you go um hello uh do you remember me i um i uh i was in uh, the, 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 the soggy soggy feather uh, asking for for lessons um i guess your price has gone up but certainly it still can't be 500 gold per lesson Would... 550 gold no no <laughs> Varel, please, I, I don't make that much money, but I am I'm eager to learn M Sports. Would you take cannot, time with me? I cannot train someone who believed me to be a child murderer, and I'll move past him. <laughs> take that. <laughs> All right, as you move past him, you walk straight into and, um, some uh, some men and women who reach out their hands to you and touch you, and they go, Varel was so proud of your victory today. We wish to be with you while you celebrate. And then one of them proffers you a drink right into your chest, and it spills a little bit on your chest. Come and drink with us and tell us your tale. I've got my handful of money and my handful of trophy, and I just, I, I look at it and, to the soggy feather. Okay, so you, to the soggy feather, and then the whole crowd <coughs> follows you. Um, how do you want to get back? You're just gonna walk there. There was a carriage that brought you here. Maybe that's an option. I don't. Do you have any plans about how to return? If possible, I'd like to regain, get with my group, and take the carriage. But we can have the windows down and host a procession. Okay, then that's exactly what you do. Uh, you know, the the attendants make sure you get to your carriage. You get into the carriage, or you can be on top of the carriage, the coach, if you wish. Um, on top or inside? Um. That's a good question. I'll be inside, though, because there was attempts on my life. 
Okay. So you all get in, and a huge crowd follows you through the streets away from the Coliseum, and you hear the trumpets go, and a large crowd follows you down the streets all the way back to the Soggy Feather. The signs have been taken down, and the place looks normal again. You get out of the carriage, you're swarmed with people, and you make your way inside, and, and clientele come in again, and Bill goes, Oh, shit! Bam! We're having another busy night tonight! <clears throat> Pharrell, this looks... I, I got the word. You, 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 you won tonight. I won. Congratulations. And he's the happiest you've ever seen him. He goes, Nash. What? Are, are you available tonight for work? Sure. Can, can, okay, same deal as last night. He can you, you a can you, do you, is there any way I could get payment in the form of uh, keys? Wink, wink, oh, yes. with my a one key eye. Key to a door? No, I need, I need magical keys to, I guess, unlock my powers. Well, those are expensive, so if you do good, you'll get lots of great tips. Just keep the drinks flowing. Okay, so you don't, so I, you're never gonna pay me in keys. It's just gonna be. I don't have spell keys. All right, that's fine. I'm just trying everything. That's fine. I'll earn a lot of tips. It'll be the best night ever. I'll afford my key the old-fashioned way. Nothing. He looks over. You know, nothing. You want to serve drinks too? I don't know why you would. You've got better skills than that, but nothing. Nods. Help again tonight. All right. And then he hands you a, an apron and and a <laughs> and a, <laughs> a tray. Uh, Varel, you are then left alone with squirts and uh, trunks uh, to fend off the masses uh, who are uh, celebrating your victory. Um, so. Uh, what are your plans for the evening, you two, since you're not working? You're going to enjoy it all night long? You're going to try and get sneak off? What's the deal? Squirts is going to tie shoelaces together, try and steal little things from bags. Okay, so you're going to spend the night thieving. Yeah, trip people, just little tricksy things. Okay. Yeah, it should also clarify nothing is once again going to try and take advantage of the drunker folk of the bar right. and mm -hmm. try and get a little extra coin from it. Uh, Nash wants to say something. Can he say something real quick? Yeah, of course. Varel, you now have a lot of money because of your M Sports business. Do you have plans f for that money? What are you going to do with it? We are going to use it to buy our friends back. Is the there a man pulls a trick? Is there any extra? Is there how much? We don't know what a key. Was five thousand gold for a key. No, no, no. The the prize was five thousand. Okay, and we don't know what the keys. Do, remind me what the keys cost, because we asked the guy, and I don't remember what the key he price is. Very varied. The cheapest were five hundred gold. If if we end up with an extra five hundred gold, I could really use one of those keys. Absolutely, Nash. Because I don't think you have been my friend through this whole thing. I don't think these tips are going to cover it tonight. So. If we ever if we get our friends back, in theory, we might get all our old money back. But for now, I I have no I don't have a lot of options. So I appreciate that. We'll, we'll deal with it when we get there. I will take care of you, Nash. You're like my sugar daddy. It's a thing we used to say in the solar mines a long time ago. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you um, with that, uh, what I'd like for each of you, the working people, to do, Nash, you are going to earn a gold piece tonight as wage. Okay. And then let's make a diplomacy roll, uh, please, for your client services. Okay. Hold on. That would be a. Double check. That would be a 17. Okay, so you will also earn 85 golden tips tonight. It is a spectacular evening filled with drinking, and that is you've served a ton of customers. So, and that was your role, so that's how much you're going to earn 86 total gold. 86 total gold. All right. Now, uh, nothing. Uh, since you and, and both you, nothing and squirts, uh, since you are trying to steal things, I need a sleight of hand rolls from you, please. 
Uh, 21 for sleight of hand. Okay. Five for squirts. Okay. So squirts, your total haul from, from stealing stuff is 25 gold pieces. And n- nothing? You said 21? Yeah. Okay, your total haul is 100 gold pieces. You... You managed to steal a rather rich purse uh, throughout the night. Just sort of is that also including the wage for work, or is that just pure stealing? Not including the wage for work, which is a gold piece. 106. Uh, you don't earn a, uh, any tips because you're concentrating on stealing, so your service is not as good, and you don't really earn any tips. You're more interested in the, the theft part of it. And any tips you do, do earn is, is rolled up into that 105 you earned. Okay. Right. Her method of getting of stealing is often asking for tips multiple times from the same person. Sure. There you go. <laughs> and it worked. Uh, okay. So, uh, Varel, um, everyone's busy with their affairs. Anything that you want to do? Announcements? How late do you want to go? Will you be drinking? Uh, I will feast from my trophy cup. I will take my evening stew in it. Mm-hmm but I will keep my senses sharp for assassinations, so I will not drink. Okay. All right, so uh, the evening goes by hour over hour. I mean, it's an early day. The competition ends like at four or five in the afternoon. So five or six hours of revelry goes by. It becomes late night, midnight. Um, The party is nowhere near done. Uh, Everyone's still there drinking, but a lot of people have become very, very sloppy. at a certain point, you would decide you're going to have to decide to leave because the party is not going to stop if you don't disappear from it. So, what time would you like to disappear? Um, I don't think the Tricks Church has any like opening time problems, so I'd I'd let it go. I mean, these these people are overwhelmed with joy at my victory, and I would let them continue until Bill either stopped it or I could not function any further. Okay. So we move ahead to about four in the morning and there are people falling asleep left, right, and center. The bar is filled with people dozing off and Bill looking pretty sluggish and tired. He's like, all right, Varel, I I think I got to close this place up. Uh, The money tonight that I've made has been stupendous. It's amazing. I wish I could do this every night. Then I could retire in like a week but I think we gotta close up Pam and I are getting tired very good I too am exhausted from my day and my pills are wearing off that's true you are now poisoned again blah (laughs) (laughs) it happened right at that moment (laughs) it's a good point so I will slightly dragging my trophy dirty with stew, start heading up the stairs and then turn around and be like, everyone, this was a victorious day. I must rest for more victories follow another time. All right, and then a woman raises her head from one of the tables having been up asleep and goes, oh, Pharrell, let me, let me come with you. And she gets up and sort of stumbles across the bar over to you and falls into you and gives you a hug and you just hear a laugh. <laughs> she looks up at you from your chest and goes, I'll keep you warm tonight, Pharrell. I do not need warmth. And it looks like you need to take care of yourself. That is true. You are so warm. She feels you. She goes, it's as if there's a fire emanating from inside of you. This again. Well, <laughs> your, your manager doesn't have to know. Uh, that is not my concern. W- excuse me? <laughs> your manager. Your, your, your lover. Oh. I've read about yes. it in the M-Sports Bulls, and she's quite jealous, but don't worry. It will be quiet. She would be infuriated, though, and I must make passionate love to my manager right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If only I could be her. If only... Surely just for one night. No. Your love, will, your love will remain. We'll just engage in pleasures of the flesh. And then I can say that I had an evening of fun with a great champion. 
oh, my pleasures are so full of flesh that there's no room. There's too much flesh. Nothing is going to grab the woman's shoulder from behind. Mm -hmm. Kind of pull her away. And as soon as she faces her in Varel's own voice, go, no! Strength contest, please. Oh, boy. This isn't going to go well. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Twelve. All right, it's an even tie. As you try to pull her, she's gripped onto Varel very tight. All right, nothing pulls out a dagger. <laughs> nothing. She, looks, to be, to she be turns the around, looks at you, and she goes, why, why does he have a dagger pulled out, Varel? He's she, going to... She, she. <laughs> she's going to butter some bread. You must go home. <laughs> Is she one of your lovers, too? Oh, Go home. I'm overflowing with lovers this evening. I'll... Why? Why would you? Why would you deny me when you won't deny yourself? Please. The human genitalia is a mystery to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, deception check, please. His only other experience with it is me. So, yeah, it is a mystery. <laughs> yeah, so I may not actually be deception. 16? <laughs> okay, she goes and she looks and says, Oh, that makes sense. I've heard about lizard folk genitalia. It's it's different. You don't hump. <laughs> There's nothing sexier than a bar conversation <laughs> with a girl where you talk about human genitalia and whether you hump or not. This goes. This is a great thing on the weekend, on a Friday night. Sorry, go ahead. I don't mean to interrupt. It's killing and me, though. without humping, <laughs> I shall ascend to my chamber, not hump my manager in the most passionate way. And I'm, I'm sorry, Varel. I've been insensitive to, is, to the differences between our species. There's not, no need. It's I'm not shaped. I swear, I'm not shaped. things are. I'm not shaped. I'm, I'm, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and she drunkenly doesn't notice you leave as she's sort of now feeling very um, embarrassed about herself and she sits back at the bar and falls asleep and you just see a big snot bubble come out of her nose and she's like <laughs> Don't pop. nothing follows Varel up the stairs okay goes into the room looks yeah, at Varel the, the room's a giant mess from the attack as you left it last time oh is the sword still on the floor yep all right Pulls the sword out of the floor, resheaths it where it should go, looks at Varel, holds out her hand expectantly. Bodyguard. Right. What is the... And I look at my two big bags of gold. Customary fee for a bodyguard. Uh... 10%. Jeez! 10%. What? Varel, that's um, enough to buy my key. Oh, so we can buy ten keys. I mean... How many keys do you need? I I don't actually know. I need one to see how the hell it goes and works. So you need one key, so we can afford to give... Yeah, then I'll count out 500 of the monies. Man, that... Nothing will pocket the 500 and then indicate a little more. No! Ninjas! Nash. Na I mean, Varel. You're getting shystered by the bird. The bird has performed services. The they did stab our assailants. Yeah, but he's got his and... he's got his 500. He's Now he's taking you for a ride. How much is a ninja defense? <laughs> he doesn't have a menu. That's the problem. You gotta agree to this stuff up front or else he's gonna screw you in the end. Nothing keeps her hand held out. Start pouring and I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> yeah, that's some horse shit, says Nash. We're not doing that. She, he'll, she'll just keep taking it and taking it back to whatever birds do with the money. This is bad. Bad idea. You should keep your cash. Pay him the 500 That's fair. Anything else needs to be contracted. Squirts, do you require payment? Let's get payment with tricks. This fun. Let's stay for a while. See what happens. <laughs> see, we have money to spare. Nothing. I. 
I fear being tricked by the tricksters. And I may need this money to get my friends back. Do you know how much that costs? No. So I fear to give... Well, will you attack me if I don't pay you properly? No. Oh. So we can end the discussion for tonight here, and I can pay you later? No. Oh. So you wish full payment now. Is there anything else after the ninjas? No. Well, that's good. All right. And I will take my bag of money and take out two coins and stack them. Nothing and... will let Varel continue this process until he hits about, uh, let's see, how many ninjas did I kill? Is the killing blow on, I think, three of them? Yeah, there were eight. There were eight or nine total. I'll let him get to a hundred. Oh, that that seems reasonable. As is that reasonable, Nash? V pretty reasonable. Yeah. Com yeah. Compared Three to the ninja birds, lives for a hundred gold. Sure, that's a decent. I mean, at least see this is quantitative, Varel. This is that you can do the math around this. When the bird just says keep pouring until you until I say stop. That just means keep giving him money till he says stop, and that that's no good. That's a shakedown. And for you, Nash, and I'll lay out 500 for him. I only need the 500 on a loan. I will pay you back. You won this fair and square. I just need to try to get our magic back. It's to help with the team. And when I'm done, uh, we'll, we'll get. Well, I'll figure out a way to earn that money back. Plus, sure. I have another 100 and something in my in my in my sack or whatever I'm carrying these days. Great. We can do that, Nash. It doesn't matter to me. I'm glad you're here with me. I know. I know you don't care about money, but I don't trust that bird. He's going to take advantage of you, and, and you won't have any left when we need it. All right. So I ended up spending, it was uh, 500 plus, a, so 600 on nothing. Yep. Yeah. So nothing can add 600 to her gold, and you so have 4,400 left. And one thousand, so one thousand one hundred total, with Nash key, yeah. puts me at three thousand nine hundred gold left. Which puts me at six oh seven total. We haven't bought the key yet. No, no, no. We, yeah, yeah we, he just gave me the cash, so I have the gold. I now have six hundred and seven okay. gold so, in my in my. So he gave you five hundred gold. Yeah. Okay. Which so it, make sure to write all that stuff down for next week. Oh yeah. We might not get to spending it this week. Yeah. Yeah. That's so what did you have left after? It's 3,900 left for Varel, yep. I think. Exactly. I have okay. 60, 607 total from all my tips, payment, and then now that. So 107 plus and his stuff. You, you may have to give some to Bill for yes. repairs. You'll have zero left by the time it's but all look at all the Look at all the free advertising <laughs> Bill got. Bill got like the best. He's a sponsor of your eSports, or your, sorry, your M Sports career. He's got what he wanted. He shouldn't charge you anything. You need a better manager. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think this is Nash actually saying this, but because it's a response to the DM, it's just him responding to his own thoughts. Right. That's about right. <laughs> it's just, you know, he's going to get he's going to get hosed by somebody. All right, and with that, the sun creaks into the windows. You guys have been up all night. All right, I will pick up the remains of the mattress and use it to cover the window that was broken in. Okay. And go to sleep under the frame with no mattress on it. All right, everyone go to sleep. Benefit from a long rest. Everyone uh, um, squirts here in the trash can. Uh, I imagine nothing. You are back on the chair with the sort of warning out, watching for assailants. Nash, you're lying in the bed with the cover over top of you. Nash, you get two regrowth points. What are you growing back, buddy? Uh, all right. So I've been thinking about so you this. Have a, you have a thigh, calf, and foot, and then I think you have one foot? Correct. Um, and then you have a forearm and a hand, and one hand, Yeah. and one eye, and a mouth. Okay. So pract I've been thinking about practicality here, like what is most useful for a night for the next day. And I think I think getting myself 
Didn't we determine last time? Was the foot? I'm well, oh, sorry. Was the thigh, uh, calf, and foot? Those are three. Like three points. Those That's are three, like three points, points, and I only got two to spend. Right. Yeah. Well, so wait. How did that work? Because I I got that leg thing all in one night. Oh, you don't have a second foot. Sorry, you just got the one foot leg and thigh and calf. Yeah. So how did I get all three? Because I got all three of those at once. If I only you had didn't get all points. three ones. You had a foot to start with, and then the next night you did your calf and thigh. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's about a lot of sleeps. So you're on like day four here. Okay. Um, all right. I'd, uh, let's do another. Um, I got a hand on the other side. Uh, forearm and upper arm are separate. Those are two? Yeah. Okay. You have a forearm and hand, and then you've got just a hand. All right. I would like to do a forearm and a... Oh, I basically I just want to match what I have on the other side. So I guess forearm and and uh, oh no, that no, that would make it forearm alone would make it match the other side, right? Because the other side is just forearm and yeah, hand. that's right. Okay, yeah. so I'll do a forearm for that one. So now those two would be equal, and I'll do one ear so that I can hear better than just vibrations. Oh, you're gonna give yourself an ear? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So now you have two equally forearm hands. So you have to move your whole body a little bit to to make them you know go around right right and um, you got a leg dangling down you can still float okay and um, you have you know one aorta out with a mouth on it yeah and then one aorta <laughs> out with an ear yeah <laughs> and then your eyes on the heart itself right I mean, <laughs> that's perfect <laughs> you look like even more of a mess chat chat room wants chat room wants a butt but I'm not doing the butt. <clears throat> Don't need the butt. Magical digestion is happening. I don't need a butt. I'm good. Let's say the first moment you get any of your butt or, or you know, peeing place, you'll have <laughs> really good poo or pee. And it's going to be good. <laughs> my peeing um, place. Okay. What's that? It's in my peeing place. Is that what you call it? Well, yeah, your, um, your hole. Yeah, my raggedy in hole. Your yeah. I mean, unless you grow back things. I don't know if you can or not. We'll right. see. You got me. Um, so, uh, yeah, very good. You're all set. So you guys sleep for the full eight hours, bring you to the late afternoon when you finally open your eyes. The sun is still spilling in through cracks of the curtains. There's a slight knocking at the door. Uh, hello? Bill? Yeah, it's me. Yeah, is this a bad time? What time is it? <laughs> it's about four in the afternoon. Oh. Uh, you can come in. The door's damaged. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm coming to talk to you about. So, um... You've done a lot of good for me, and, uh, you know, as part of the new Welcome Center deal, we provide free lodging, and it's been an eventful couple of days, but uh, that free lodging has come to an end, and it's time to talk business if you're going to stay on longer. Uh, I'm going to need a bit of money to repair the damage to the room, and then... I'm going to need, uh, you know, to discuss what the rental fee is going to be for the room going forward. I see. Um, Nash? Mm. Wake up. There's money talk. Oh, all right. Hold on. Let me push myself up with these two rad arms I've got now. I got arms again, sort of. Forearms. Look at this. And I'll, I'll float up above the blanket and just go, whoa, look at this, and just wave my forearms and, and hands at Varel. Look at me! Uh, what's that uh, weird-looking thing that you grew? Oh, there? hold on a second. Say that again, Bill. Talk into this ear what's next that? time you say it. <laughs> oh, you got an ear now. Well, I, congratulations. I, I did. It was a good night. How is this possible? I'm coming back. Well, congratulations on your new pieces of body. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, um, yeah, uh, the fees, 
This is an expensive room because it's our executive suite. Uh, two gold pieces a night. So that'll be the cost for that. That'll include food and drink for the four of you. So you don't got to, you know, basic food. If you're going to get drunk or drink a lot of arcane spice, then I'll charge you. But it'll include three meals a day. That seems fair. But, uh, Bill, now, I have been told to be quite um, stingy because we brought you so much business. But there's also something else that comes to mind. Yeah. Seems the guide you set me up with is quite expensive. The guide? You mean nothing? Nothing. Well, uh, I mean, I never hired her before. I don't know what her prices are. She charged nothing. me 600 gold pieces last night. Oh, jeez. 10%. Maybe I should be charging 10%. That's true. You did win a lot of money last night. And she has been looking out for you. Not everybody's going to sign up looking for, for fights and stuff. I don't know. How much is this one charging you? Point looks at Nash. 500. Well, it's not... It's a complicated... 500? He's your friend. No, it's just... It's different. Uh, he's, Why are you grumbling he's... about nothing? You gave nothing 600. He got 500. He's floating me alone. I don't want to get in the middle of it. He's floating me alone. That's all. I'm getting a key. Remember the keys I asked you about? And you said, well, I can't pay in keys. This is to help me get a key. It's not a... He's yeah, not paying I mean, me for this is This is your business, man. I, I don't really... I can't really give you advice on that. Seems like they're your friends. And if they need help, well, you've got a lot of means to do it, so... I'd keep your friends well paid. And I'd keep your landlord well paid. Bill, you are my friend. What do you need to fix up this place? You've well, given me so much since I arrived in town. Um, well, thank you for saying that. I don't like to take that kind of credit or ask for it, but I'm glad you appreciate that. Uh, I've The mattresses, I have to replace them. I mean, you got this one who's bled all over it, one of them. And the other one, well, it got, you dug through it during the fight, even though you didn't need to. So they're about, you know, three gold pieces a pop. That's six. You broke all my windows. That's about two gold pieces a pop. Let's say ten. Bill. The curtains, they're five gold pieces. So The fee for friendship seems to be 500. Shall I pay you that? No, I don't think I'll take advantage of you like that, uh, Varel. We're just going to pay what you owe me. Because you're right, I did make some good money over the past couple of days. I'm betting if I keep you around, maybe we'll have some more good days like that. So I need 35, we'll just call it an even 40 gold pieces to fix up all the stuff that got broke. And then <clears throat> how long do you think you're going to stay? A month? I have no idea. So two times 30 days, that's 60 gold. Give me 100 gold, and that'll take care of all the stuff that you broke up to today, because you might break stuff in the future. And we'll have your room paid for the next 30 days. What about the sponsorship, gold. I yell from the back? Well, what? that sunk, remember? Well, yeah. You ruined it. But he, he won, and you got notoriety for it, right? Sorta. Of. Oh, you mean the thing on the back? Yeah, like that's how that works. That wasn't, you know, that's service we provided so that you would either pay us for that or maybe you'll forgive some of this debt. Well, look, that's probably going to help, but Listen. are you going to be performing in esports comp M sports competitions every weekend? And what, can I expect more business like this in the future? Uh, likely not, but Bill, Bill. There is a very high chance that I will continue to come under attack if I stay here. I see. Perhaps there's some money you could take for upgrades that could make this place a bit more defensible. Go on. The windows perhaps could be replaced or reinforced. We could decorate with some items on the wall that could do some damage should someone come in here 
perhaps we'll be in need of such uh, an arrangement as time goes on. And if you're comfortable with the sort of trouble I bring, you know I'll pay for it. Well, it's been worth it so far, so I don't see any reason to change our arrangement. And it might not look like much, but Pam and I can take care of ourselves. So you're welcome to continue staying here, so long as it's profitable. I wouldn't have it any other way, Bill. All right. Well, so what do you propose with the upgrades? What upgrades? First, Just I must the, room, the whole hotel. First, I must get my friends back. Very well. Jesus, we still got to settle up this hundred gold for now. We'll talk upgrades after. All right, and I'll pay him the hundred. All right, so remove a hundred from your thing. You're now paid up thirty days of free, not free, but you're paid up to live here at the Soggy Feather with room and board, including food, for the next thirty days. And you've paid for repairs, although nothing's getting repaired instantly. Your room is still a giant mess. Um, okay, so with that, Bill says, "Thank you, Vorel. It's it's been a real pleasure so far." that you arrived on our doorstep. I'm sure it'll only get more interesting. I'll go make us some breakfast. Or supper, I suppose. Because it's this afternoon. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm all off. I don't like to stay up that late. Even though this is a bar and staying up late is part of the deal. We never have these kind of nights. It's new to me. You think about what kind of defenses you want. I will. And we'll talk about upgrading this place. I'll watch he him stops go. In, he stops in the doorway and he goes, You know, something occurs to me just now. You did come into a lot of money. And you do need a base of operations. Let me tell you, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned a couple of times that I'm, I'm looking to retire. And the money I've made over the past couple of days has put me pretty well ahead of our retirement plans. Me and Pam would like to maybe leave Sigil and go retire in the Feywild. At least until I die, and then she can move on and find someone else, because she's going to live a hell of a lot longer than I am. But I'd love to see the great rivers of the Feywild. I don't suppose you'd be interested in a purchase of the Soggy Feather. Or splitting it, becoming partners, letting me go retire and you can run the place. That is an interesting deal. Think about it. You don't need to answer me now. But you do have a lot of money, and I'm sure you could afford to to buy in. Very interesting. And he knocks on the, the wood, and then he exits the room. Squirts. Mm, mm, yes. Yes. I would like to inquire about my companions. He, oh, oh, yes, because we did the trick. The big trick. But first, Pharrell, how you feel? How pus? <laughs> how do I feel? <laughs> how is the pus? Mm, yeah, you actually sort of look and pay attention to it, and you see that there are large bubbles all over your shoulders. Oh, you're still poisoned. Squirts had vision last night! And then Squirts will go to bite Pharrell's leg to, and cast protection from poison. You have protection from poison? I'm pretty sure as a cleric, every night after a full rest, a long rest, I can change my spells. Yeah. Or at yeah, least one true. of them. What? Yeah, you can, can change, change all. spells yeah. at a long rest? Yeah, every oh. night you can switch. Yeah, you you prepare spells for the day. Oh, interesting. From a list you have or from any of the clerics? From all built? cleric spells. Yeah, I'm still new to playing with clerics. So, all right. What's it called? Protection from poison? Yes. So I can touch a creature, and if it's poisoned, I neutralize the poison. But if there's more than one, I either neutralize the one that I know is present or a random one. Okay. Well, with that, she touches you, and the pus immediately oozes out, clearing up all the 
the the bubbles and the bubbles sink down and flatten into your shoulder as loose skin and you immediately feel relief from the tension that your body has been under thank you squirts yes yes you think you think trick gods they play trick on poison and ninjas two tricks in one and children everywhere let's go see your master Yes, we go follow squirts and chunks. Okay, and as you descend below, you see that they're the the bar below still has a great many clients in it, and they all go hey when they see Varel, and a lot of them circle you and attempt to speak with you again. Uh, but you push your way through them. Nobody has anything of interest to say. They just want to be your friend and get training and ask you benign questions. So you make your way through. It takes about ten minutes to push through the bodies, and you exit onto the street, the four of you. And you look left and look right, and Squirts begins waddling down the street, and you follow after her to make your way to get Kidagree's temple to go and bring back your friends. And that's where we end it this week. Oh, That's been There Will Be Dungeons. <laughs> oh, I like the little tack on that you put on there. I like that. <laughs> yeah. That's where we'll end it, and that's There Will Be Dungeons. I like it. Maybe that's just, we should just end it like that every week. Uh, well yeah. done. Uh, good stuff, everybody, as always. Always uh, a good time to be hanging out with these guys. And a good time for us to remind the fair listeners at home that if you like this and you dig this show, you like the content you're getting out of There Will Be Dungeons, you can go sign up for some rad stuff with our premium package support system over there at therewillbedungeons.com. Why on earth would you do that? How about a bonus episode every month? How about a bunch of cool stuff in the mail for some of you if you decide to go that way? How about just the great satisfaction of knowing that you've helped out your favorite D&D show? All of that and more can be yours at therewillbedungeons.com. And big thanks to everybody who already does. Uh, and if you haven't, consider it today. It's going to do it for us. We'll be back next week with a whole nother session of There Will Be Dungeons, and we hope to see you here. By the way, those home uh, listening, if you're like, man, I really want to see these guys while they do it, we record live on Twitch every Sunday from 4 p.m. Mountain Time to 7 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, or thereabouts, uh, but always starting right around 3, So, or sorry, 4. So come check it out and be a part of that because we'd love to have more live folks here with us. That's going to do it for us. For me, for these chuckleheads, and for all of you, we'll see you next time. This show is part of the Frog Pants Network. Frog Pants Network. Get more shows like this at frogpants.com. Well done.